Hey there guys, Spazzo21 here. Today, we are saying goodbye to Disney Channel. Not the movies, but just the channel. There are just some shows on there that are, I just, that are just getting worse and worse and worse as it keeps going. I mean, some shows have been canceled. It's just, falling apart and it's not bringing my attention up really well and I'm not really liking these shows. The old shows like Kim Possible was really good. But before I talk about shows that I say that should kind of were really good and they should really inspire from them, let's start with the bad shows. I Didn't Do It was a bad show. Austin Alley was a weird show. Jesse made no sense. Dog with a blog made no sense. Good luck, Charlie. Oh my god. Then, Ant Farm was a really weird show. They, there was one character that was actually pretty funny. I think it was the brother of the, um, of the main character. Um, then, they were so random, and that was just a ripoff from Mad, and not just like, what the fuck. It just like... It wasn't funny. It was just really stupid. Just ripping off people. They like they were trying to make a parody of things that were popular and trending, but it just wasn't funny. It was just kind of like, ha ha. Oh, I get it. Stuff like that. And then another show that made no sense was Hannah Montana. Shake it up. And there's so much other shitty shows. But that's just a few of them to name them off the top of my head but good shows that I say should be more looked at and more like oh we should follow this more is like Kim Possible that was a very good series like Kim Possible had the most running animation series ever on Disney before Phineas and Ferb started which I'm not criticizing Phineas and Ferb Phineas and Ferb thumbs up I, I mean that show was good but there was like Lilo and Stitch that was a great show, like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and when they got older, I liked that. And then there's like Wizard, Wizards of Waverly Place. I, God, that show is fucking phenomenal. I mean, those these shows are like childhood. These are like good shows. But some shows they just canceled on, like, that were actually pretty decent. Like, I know they bought Marvel. Disney Channel has Marvel, so they play Marvel shows. I mean, like, The Ultimate Spider-Man, thumbs up. That's a great thing. But, actually, that's, like, the one good series. <laughs> that's another good series. But, like, The Avengers thing, they keep revamping it. And I'm just like, I don't know if they want to connect to this storyline or this storyline. I mean, they did Avengers Assemble. They've done so many Avengers stories, I'm just like, ugh. I mean, there's been, don't get me wrong, there's been a ton of Spider-Man shows, but Ultimate Spider-Man is the newest, and it has stayed for a while. I mean, but, like, Avengers, they've, like, revamped it, like, twice now. I, I don't know if they've revamped it a third time. Like, I don't get why they do that. For, for those who you are, like, just saying, is it just Disney Channel? It's all the Disney Channels. Disney XD, Disney Channel, Disney Junior, Disney, uh, I think that's it, to be honest. I mean, there was, there was actually decent shows back in the day. I mean, I really, I mean, there was some that were, like, good, like, Kobe in the House. Oh, my God, that series was thumbs up. That was a good series. But, like, I mean, like, Shake It Up had, like, it was weird. Girl Meets World is just like a revamp. It's like that Teen Titans Go bullshit. I mean, it's one of those revamps that's like, this sucks. I mean, you can't just slap a, a different letter on there and say, oh, it's a whole different series. No, it's it's basically stupid. I mean, some series made no sense, like Jesse. Like, you don't just pick up strangers and say, can you be my nanny? I mean, if I did that in New York City, I'd probably, like, hire a... That would probably be a murderer, and I'd probably die that day. It, it just wouldn't be pretty. I mean, um... Another good show for, um... That I found pretty enjoyable. The Proud Family. Oh, my God. 
love that show. Was that a Disney? Yeah, that was a Disney show. There's um, they used to have the Disney Saturday cartoons, and you get to see like um a little film go into it and shit, and it's just like that's really cool. But now these newer shows are just being trash. The actors are just standing there and being like, "Huh, huh, I'm just here for the paycheck. Please pay me." I mean, I don't think they're really having fun. It looks like it's 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 worst acting ever. I mean, make a series that's like entertaining at least. I mean, Girl Meets World is kind of dumb and stupid. I mean, I again another rip off of it's a teen it's a rip off of the original the Girl, Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World was cool. I mean, that was back in the day when they didn't have technology interfering. It was actually real world problems that every kid seemed to deal with. But now it's not, do it has to do with girls now, and it's modern, and it's, just, mm, I just don't like it. I know, I know that it is the parents of the original too, but no. You just can't beat the original. I mean, there are some really weird shows that I thought were like, uh, fuck, in hell. Like, um, I mean, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody on deck is okay that's like a that's a continuing series it's a whole different show but it's continuing with the same characters and they're plotting in game more connected I like that but like like girl meets world no 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 that's let's get off the subject like Austin Alley was just like okay when are these two gonna fall in love I've been I when I first saw the first episode I'm just like okay when are they gonna kiss it's just gonna be like I hope they get, like, start dating now or something, or they fall in love, but it never happened. I'm just like, God. Then there was this Shake It Up thing. I don't a show that I thought that was kind of weird. I mean, if you're making money off that show, that's just... That's fantastic, but... I don't, I don't know about that show. They had issues that were just, like, the stupidest thing. Hmm a lot of weird shows that are just like the fuck but there are sh like live in alley like the fuck these new shows that i'm seeing are just like does someone in the comments below want to tell me why these shows exist i always feel like um there's a little kid saying dad can you it's my it's like their birthday or something and they say can you make me this type of show that's entertaining, and they're like, it's your birthday, I got you, and I'm just like, oh god. Like, Ant Farm, they make fun of, like, the actual, like, kids that are, like, who are super smart. The principal, like, bees a total fucking bitch to them, and I'm just like, these kids are talented. Why, why are you, they're more smart than, like, pretty much the other kids. The only real one who had talent was... The main character, which I actually forgot her name. I'm probably going to remember by the end of this episode, and I'm just like, fuck me. I mean, shows that are like... the. I mean, be before I get off the Ant Farm, Ant Farm had one good character, and that was the brother. That's all I want to say. I mean, these shows are just shit, and there, there used to be really good shows. Um... I just never got these new shows like um, Good Luck Charlie, and then there's a little kid, and I'm just like, um, I think they got an issue for. There's some TV shows I'm talking about, and they're actually like taken down, and and that's like thumbs up for me. Like yes, put a different show in, but all these shows are just shit. I mean, if someone can say no, these aren't shit. Give me a five paragraph essay in the comments below Tell me why these shows aren't shit. And if there is, I will give an apology video. That's how much I'm betting on how shitty Disney has become. It has happened with most networks. I mean, I've been trying to hold back on this and hopefully they become better. But now it's just like the actors are just fucking atrocious. I mean, look at what happened to Miley Cyrus. I mean, I'm not, I I never thought that thing, bad things could happen to Disney because Disney was the fucking legend who.
They own Marvel and shit. But now it's just like, okay, what the fuck, Disney? I have a question for you, Disney. Could you bring some shows that are decently back, that are, are original series that's decently good? Crash and Bernstein was like an original. I, I I hate when you say it's an original series. Just because it's original does not mean it's good. I will tell you that straightforward. It is never good. Original series, some original series have been good. Phineas and Ferb is a great example of an original series that's pretty good. But like revamping shit that's like already been done, like. Boy Meets World, Girl Meets World. That's stupid to me. But you know, it is time to say goodbye to motherfucking Disney. Goodbye, Disney. You had some good shows. You had a good run. But in the end, even I couldn't keep up with this shit. So anyways, my name is Fazway21. Thanks for listening. Peace out.